Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie. Today is a very special day and I've decided to vlog it because it's something that I've never saw coming. If you know me, you know that I don't necessarily splurge all that much, if ever. So today I am making my very first luxury purchase item. I still don't know which purse I'm going for. I personally love YSL and I've always wanted that black with gold YSL logo. But Chanel is definitely on a different level and I feel like for my very first big luxury item or luxury purchase, I feel that like Chanel should be it. So let's go to Fifth Avenue and make my very first luxury purchase. I'm so anxious, you guys. I feel like a true Capricorn because I don't make decisions like this. <laughs> Take you taking care of your handbags and everything, but the, those little yeah. scratches. It's normal, I know. It's normal. It's kind of going to be So I think I'm going to go with this one, even though I'm obsessed with this material. Ha ha ha! 
right, so it's the following day and everything is still feeling so surreal to me. I can't believe I made this insanely large purchase yesterday. You're probably waiting for the unboxing part of the video, which if you are, you can skip to this part. But I wanted to make this vlog style and basically just let you guys know my feelings and the reason why I got the Chanel bag. If you've been following me for a while now, you know that I don't own anything luxury or designer. I've also always disclosed the fact that I am very frugal and I don't necessarily find the meaning behind you buying so many expensive bags. But I also feel that there comes a day where you have been working for many years and you just want to buy yourself something nice. I started working when I was 16 years old and I've been working ever since. YouTube has turned into my full-time job for the past three years now, I think, but I've been doing it for a little longer than that. So. I've always been really frugal. I've always been the type to save my money. I've always been the type to not necessarily spend my money on unnecessary things. I'm very cautious with my money basically. But with the many years of me working, I have never purchased anything valuable or meaningful for myself. I don't know, I mean, this bag symbolizes so much more than just the materialistic side of it. I personally feel that I don't always remind myself of how proud I am or put myself on the outer perspective and see how far I actually have come and I feel like many of us do that where we just keep pushing and doing and working and working and just forget to take a breather and just like see all the good that's actually happening in your life so that's what this bag means for me it just symbolizes all the hard work that I've put throughout the years my stubbornness my determination to push harder and work harder my persistence to keep doing it even though I've definitely had a few people in my life doubt me or doubt what I was I was doing because all of this is unknown so I do understand where those people came from um, it could be family friends by that I also don't want to outshine the ones that have supported me from the beginning but I've definitely had people in my life that have doubted me and my decisions and me dropping out from college and not finishing um I was not I was not expecting for me to get emotional with this. So I decided to trust my intuition, go for what I wanted and what I saw future on, even though it wasn't necessarily what others saw as a future for me. I don't talk about this much because I feel like everyone has their own opinion about it, but my views on college are, I feel like they're both equal. I feel like it's highly important and necessary and it's great to learn and there's always room for improvement and learning and I mean college is always going to be there for me regardless but I also feel that in this generation and this time right now it's not the most important to make a career out of something and make it far and be successful in life but don't just drop out of college and not have a plan definitely have a plan and be persistent be determined and work hard and just keep working hard because Anything that you set your mind to, you can definitely do it. I really didn't want to get super cheesy with this and I feel like I already have, but long story short, this symbolizes all the hard work that I put throughout the years. It's so funny because I feel like everything comes in full circle sometimes. So when I finally made the purchase and the girl was coming around to give me the bag, my cousin started clapping for me and I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, stop, it's so embarrassing. And the girl that was helping us was like, no, you have to celebrate, this is like your diploma. And I paused and I was like, oh my God, like, this is kind of like what that means or symbolizes for me. It means all the hard work and dedication that you put throughout the years into one thing, which is the diploma. I mean, you go to school, you study, you take classes, and you graduate, and the meaning for graduation is a diploma. It probably sounds super silly and corny, and it's definitely not equal as a diploma, but I just wanted to put it out there that that's what that feels for me. All right, so here we have the beautiful Chanel bag. I'm also low-key like excited the fact that I went to the Chanel store in Fifth Avenue because I never in my entire life have purchased anything from Fifth Avenue aside from H&M, Zara, and Abercrombie and Fitch. All right, this is what the box looks like. I'm like, I, I honestly cannot believe it still. The box itself feels so luxe, but I ended up going with the flat bag, the classic flat bag that they have, the medium size, I believe, or not the small, not the large, the right in between. I think the medium size is now known as the large one, but I don't know. Again, I don't really know the terms about many of these things. So when I decided that I was going for Chanel, I did a lot of research and watched a lot of YouTube videos on which bag to go for as my very first one 
and everyone kept saying to go with the caviar finish everyone kept saying that lambskin is more prone to scratches than the caviar finish and i mean i don't think anyone wants to scratch this pricey bag when i saw it in person though i was so so torn between both because i honestly love the finish of the lambskin more than the caviar i feel like it looks more luxe more like expensive it looks more feminine and delicate so if you have gotten to this part of the video i just want to say thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all your support and love throughout the years if you've been following me for a while now if you're new hi welcome subscribe but without further ado let's finally show you guys the reveal and unboxing part